Good day and welcome to Mission Control Houston. Today is Friday, November 8, 2013, and this is Space Station Live. Uh, on board, we have NASA astronauts Karen Nyberg, Mike Hopkins, and Rick Mastracchio, as well as uh, Russian Commander Fyodor Shikin, uh, his uh, Russian colleague Sergei Rozansky Oleg Kotov, as well as European Space Agency's Luca Parmitano and the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency's Koichi Wakata. The three uh, new Expedition 37 crew members, Mastrakia, Wakata, and Turin, are spending most of their day in handover with their colleagues who will be departing the space station on Sunday. That's Nyberg, Parmitano, and your chicken. Your chicken, with some help from Hopkins, is transferring experiments and water samples into the Soyuz, late-breaking uh, transfers before they return to Earth on Sunday. Parmitano also spending some time at the end of the day working on the Biolab facility, installing new sample cassettes in its microscope. Biolab is a European Space Agency facility used to perform space biology experiments on microorganisms, cells, tissue cultures, small plants, and small invertebrates. Nyberg and Hopkins also are working together to install a wireless access point inside the Kibo Laboratory that's provided by the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency. Olakotov and Sergei Rizansky are spending much of their day making final preparations for their spacewalk on Saturday that begins at 8.30 a.m. Central Time. During the spacewalk, they'll be displaying an Olympic torch that is headed for the opening ceremony of the 2014 Winter Olympic Games in Sochi, Russia. In addition, uh, they will be preparing a pointing platform on the hull of the space station's Vezda service module for the uh, installation of a high-resolution camera system in December, and also relocating a foot restraint to use on future spacewalks. NASA television uh, coverage of the spacewalk begins at 8 a.m. Central Time. The EVA itself begins at 8.30 a.m. All nine crew members also today participated in a joint crew news conference, answering questions from reporters around the globe. Throughout the week, Nyberg, Yushikin, and Parmitano packed and stowed items for their departure. Among those items are the fan pump separator from Luca Parmitano's spacesuit that has been the subject of much troubleshooting after water collected in Luca's helmet and required an early end to a spacewalk with Chris Cassidy. Their landing is planned for Sunday with uh, undocking at 5.26 p.m. and landing at 8.49 p.m. on the steppe of Kazakhstan. Thursday, the station population uh, increased to nine people for the first time since October 2009, at least without a space shuttle present. The Soyuz carrying Mastrakio, Turin, and Okada launched from the Baikonur Cosmodrome at 10.14 p.m. Central Time on Wednesday, docked to the space station at 4.27 a.m. Central Time on Thursday, and hatches opened at 6.44 a.m. with the crew entering into the space station to join their colleagues. Crew worked on a variety of experiments throughout the week, including the body measures experiment, which is aimed at collecting anthropometric data using digital still and video imagery and tape measures. Both Hopkins and Nyberg worked with the SPHERES experiment, which stands for Synchronized Position, Hold, Engage, Reorient Experimental Satellites. Hopkins did runs with the RINGS experiment uh, variant, which is called short for Resonant Inductive Near Field Generation System, and is designed to demonstrate and test wireless power transfer and how the satellites can be controlled from the ground. Nyberg also worked with a different set of experiments to uh, demonstrate the use of virtual 3D visualization to control multiple satellites with communication delays. Also this week, Parmitano worked with the in-space experiment, which short for structure of paramagnetic aggregates from colloidal emulsions, and that's a study of the particle dynamics of such uh, colloids, which are liquids with solids suspended within them, such as milk and detergents and the like, and looking at how uh, fluids that change properties in response to magnetic fields react in microgravity. That's intended to help understand uh, how to make adaptable new fluids for use in a variety of applications like brake systems and robotics. Overall, the uh, International Space Station doing very well as it orbits 260 miles above the Earth's surface, continuing to circle the globe every 90 minutes. We're looking forward to Saturday's spacewalk coverage tomorrow, and then Sunday's departure and landing of three crew members, uh, leaving the crew of six on board the International Space Station to continue their scientific research. This is Mission Control Houston.